as I say, I had heard Dr. King speak before, I, and I'd heard some of these phrases before, but I think for the audience standing before him and the audience watching on TV, this was the first time they had heard a complete speech from any black speaker at all. And the first time they had heard this marvelous preacher who had oratorical gifts ordinary people do not have, develop a rationale for the civil rights movement. In effect, he was saying, this is what we do, and this is why we do it. This is why we march, this is why we protest, this is why we sit in, because of these injustices. And here are these injustices. I want to tell you what they are. And when you hear them, you have to agree that people should not live under these circumstances. They ought to be able to do something about them, and that's what we're doing. That's why we do this, these marching things. And I think this rationale to the movement did a great deal in letting Americans understand, oh, I see what they're doing. I understand now for the first time. So a great many Americans who had no idea of what the civil rights movement was all about, in fact, who thought the same way the government did, that was mayhem and riot, found how there was a reasonable people doing reasonable things that everybody would do if they were in the same circumstances.